Shalom everyone, this is Amir Tsarfati and I am live from Galilee, from Israel. This is the Jezreel Valley right behind me. And these are breaking news. I would like to uh, talk about two incidents that took place within the same parameter within Rafah. It's not a coincidence that uh, Rafah is in the uh, headlines right now. It's simply because the Palestinians and the Egyptians both have all the interests in the world to prevent us from moving forward and exposing their multi-billion dollar business of smuggling weapons and goods under the ground. So the first incident took place last night when Israel drops two small and precision guided bombs to kill some key terrorists that were hiding among civilians uh, um, in area that has already been warned to evacuate and not in the area that the IDF designated as humanitarian area. Um, so obviously, when you warn civilians to leave in different ways many times, you assume that whoever stays behind are those that do not want to run away from, uh, uh, from the IDF, but they actually want to fight. We dropped the bomb on two super, super wanted terrorists that were involved in not only killing Israelis in the past, but also perpetrating terror uh, attacks on Israelis even today, uh, remotely from Gaza, operating the terrorists in the West Bank. And so uh, roughly 35, 36 people died. Um, again, as far as we're concerned, they may not be uh, what we call uninvolved because they were there to cover and to become and to serve as human shields for top terrorists. But the more, I would say, the more important incident uh, that uh, should concern everyone is actually an incident that took place just a few hours ago along the next to the Rafah crossing. And that is uh, when an Egyptian force opened fire at an Israeli uh, armored brigade, Brigade 401, that is maneuvering in the area of the Rafah crossing. And the Israeli soldiers uh, were shocked. I mean, they, 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 they were expecting fire from the Gazan side, from, from terrorists of Hamas terrorists, but not from Egyptian soldiers on the other side. Obviously, um, they had to respond before somebody will get hurt. And throughout the exchange of fire, it appears as if uh, four Egyptians were Egyptian soldiers were killed. Uh, the, the, the incident was put under gag order until not long ago, and now it's released. Now we're investigating it. We're talking with the Egyptian counterpart. This is not a joke, but let me, let me make it very clear. Both Hamas is interested in inflating numbers of casualties among civilians, so the world will pressure Israel to stop the operation in Rafah. And the Egyptians are interested in doing something that will cause um, unnecessary drama that will cause Israel to stop. And again, you have to understand, the Rafah crossing is already, the fact that Israel controls it right now, dropped prices of goods in Rafah and in the Gaza Strip in 300%. <laughs> in other words, there is no Hamas taxes, there is no mafia taxes, that's it. Now, apart from that, uh, let me also make sure that you understand that Israel is now controlling and exposing multiple tunnels in, in, in Rafah, and this is a multi-million dollar business that both several Palestinian uh, organizations are benefiting from, including obviously Hamas and some strong families, but more so on the Egyptian side, the Egyptian authorities, police, military, all the way up to the son of the president, all of them are involved in the smuggling and the money, the big money that is uh, coming out of it. So make no mistake, it's not about the Palestinians, it's not about Palestine, it's not about peace and land, it's about money. And it's about um, exploiting the Palestinians in order uh, to have good business um, and not to uh, obviously have good life. So this is the story. Again, breaking news, major incident uh, with the Egyptian forces on the Rafah crossing. 
I will give you more information on Telegram. In Telegram, I have videos, I've got maps, I've got tons of data that I am unable to share here. I also want to tell you that I'm in the process of acquiring enough uh, information uh, and, and footage for a very disturbing, unfiltered October 7th uh, film, which I will be premiering on Telegram only because no one will allow me to do that on social media platforms. And I urge you all to get uh, to follow me on Telegram and to to spread the news for your families and friends it, because the, the pe people forgot about October 7th. They, so many say it never happened. Well, uh, let me show you what happened. And, and for the most part, what I'm going to show you is what was actually filmed by the terrorists themselves. So again, go and get my Telegram channel. Follow me. I've got 400 and over 400, uh, 530 thousand subscribers. There's a lot of fake accounts with my name, with my photo. Avoid them, please. Don't answer direct messages on Telegram because you know I'm not asking for you know for you uh, to click on any links uh, to for prayer or for this or for that on the official telegram channel with over 530,000 subscribers that's the only channel that I am operating and whatever is posted there it's from me okay so make sure you understand that there's too many imposters so again two incidents one, last night, Israel dropped two small, precise bombs in area where terrorists were and civilians were not supposed to be. And unfortunately, with the terrorists, a few civilians were killed purposefully. Uh, if, you, if you're asking me, Hamas was doing that in order to create a drama that will cause the world to pressure Israel to stop. And of course, on the other side, a few hours ago, uh, the Egyptians opened fire on Israeli forces belong to the 401 Armored Brigade. Israeli soldiers responded to the source of fire. Four, is four Egyptian soldiers were killed. And now this whole thing is under investigation. This is a serious incident between two co sovereign countries. And, uh, of course, uh, um, there was a gag order for hours on this incident because uh, everybody tried to de-escalate the situation again big news share and follow me on telegram and if you don't know how watch this video starting and behold israel channel on telegram here you will receive daily updates and audio messages from amir you can also take part in our community and reply with comments Getting started is easy. Simply download Telegram from the App Store, then visit the Behold Israel Telegram channel in your browser. From there, click Preview Channel, then click Join. That's it. See you on Telegram.